similar situation back in July. Alaniz is one of many students who park at the garage whenever shopping at the square, but this afternoon took a different turn. We were kind of bothered, like my friend and I, when we came because it's like out of our convenience and now like we're kind of forced to pay for something that we're not used to paying for since we're always like able to like park in a garage for free. While paying to park isn't something she says she's used to, it's the cost of tuition that has her considering changing lanes. Not knowing how long like you're going to have to like pay for parking, I think it's going to probably affect like us coming less because if say like something's wrong with the garage and we have to pay, even just a little expense adds up so fast, especially as a college student and just tuition itself is really expensive. But after taking the day to inspect the facility, the Century Square management team says their engineer found no safety or structural concerns and are ready to resume normal parking operations. You would think an area like this never would have free parking and that the fact that it does have free parking for such a nice area is like really nice, especially since we're college students. And continuing providing even more spots for college students. In College Station, William Johnson, KAGS News. The Century Square management team also says they originally closed because of their customers' safety and concerns.